Hello guys and welcome back to TechWolf and to this command prompt or CMD course and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to delete files as you remember during previous tutorials we created these two files where one is myfile.txt and another file is index.html so as I showed you how to write to those files by using command line and in this video I'm going to show you two ways how you can delete them one is by using relative paths and another one is by using an an absolute path so as in this tutorial you will learn also what is relative path and what is absolute path first thing what we will do let's open a command prompt by typing in search cmd hit enter and this will open a command prompt whenever you are opening in user mode your command prompt you are always seeing the full path to the location where you are located in this means that this starts from c then you are in users directory and this is your default directory on your computer where is all your files or your desktop so let's have a look in computer graphical user interface where is that to do that let's open a file explorer by clicking on folder at the very bottom and here in the left navigation at the very bottom click into this pc and you will see your drives in my scenario currently there is only one drive which is c drive usually the main or the very first drive will be your c drive where you will have all information about your computer in, there will be information about all users on this computer, information about Microsoft documents and about all operating system. If we click into this drive, you can see here that we have here folder users. If we click into this users, you can see this folder Marty. And this is exactly the same folder Marty which is located here. So the full pass to this particular folder to all folders which are in within marty is c column backslash users and marty and we can easily check it by right clicking here in this navigation currently we are in users because we entered users folder let's click into this marty and now let's right click here on this top navigation where is the address bar and you will see exactly the same full path c column backslash users marty and this is exactly the same what we have here on our command line and all our data in this folder like i mentioned for each user which will be created on your computer because on microsoft windows operating system like windows 10 or windows 11 you can create more than one user on one computer and for this particular user User. in this scenario this is me all my information or my desktop if you click here for example if I will click here in desktop you will see exactly the same information what is on my desktop if I will go back and you can see all my other information if I would want to check my downloads I would click into downloads and you will see what is in my downloads if I click on the top bar you can see the full pass or this is also known as absolute pass and if you would want to navigate by using command line to this pass you would have to enter this C column backslash and then folder where you want to go and the final destination folder where you want to be at the very end currently we are in the end folder which is downloads well, if I will copy this pass and if I will copy that absolute pass and if I will type it in here in command prompt cd space and paste this pass which is c column backslash users marty downloads as I am in my marty downloads directory and I will hit enter you will see that currently I am in users marty and in downloads directory and if I would want to see all these files and folders which are located within that directory I type in a command dir which we also have learned in previous tutorials and here you will see all these files and folders which are in this downloads directory now let's type cls to clean command prompt and hit enter so now we return back to downloads but now like i mentioned we want to delete a file on our directory and we can do it even from this downloads directory if we will be using an absolute pass we can delete any file or any folder or we can interact with any file or any folder from anywhere where we are on the command prompt for example i will open again my file explorer i will go to this pc i will click into c i will click into users i will go into my directory and here as you can see on my desktop there are these two files myfile.txt and index.html so 
as I'm in my directory here currently you can see that this there is my desktop folder I will click into it and you can see that here is all these files like images Cisco packet tracer index HTML and my file.txt which we want to delete but we will be deleting only one file by using this full pass so pretty much I could copy this pass and then I open a command prompt I want to delete a file my file.txt and to delete any files all you need to do is type a command del and space then absolute pass or the file name which you would want to delete but we will be using like I mentioned absolute pass so absolute pass to our desktop is users marty directory and this is desktop and we want to delete a file which is called myfile.txt on this desktop and to do that specify a file name so we type in a backslash and at the end we are specifying a file name so myfile.txt this means that from downloads directory like I mentioned if you are using a full pass you can interact with files and folders from anywhere because you are targeting exactly that full pass which you would want to interact with in this case we want to use a del command to delete a file myfile.txt which is located on our desktop however we are located in our downloads directory so now let's click enter and you will see that this file will be deleted from our desktop so delete as you saw that file from our desktop was deleted and we used an absolute pass and this is the way how you can use absolute pass and there is also so called relative pass this means that we can use a shorter version or directly when we are in that particular directory where we want to interact with particular files or directories I will go back to my command prompt and currently we are in Martin downloads however we want to navigate to our desktop and to navigate to our desktop we use the command cd and we can navigate in two ways one way would be if we would go back into marty and then from marty we would type in that we want to go to desktop but I will also use a full pass so straight away from download so I am able to navigate to our desktop and to do that let's type in c column backslash users backslash marty my desktop folder is in my marty directory and backslash and desktop and hit enter i navigated directly to my desktop and now again if i would want to delete this file index.html i would use a relative pass this means that we are using a small or short pass without specifying the full pass which starts with c c column or with backslash because you could also write absolute pass with simply backslash so now let's delete this file index.html and to do that type in a command again del because we are using a del command if you want to delete files and this command works only for files if you want to delete folders or empty folders we use another command which we have previewed in one of my previous videos so type del space and file name index.html and hit enter and this file will be deleted from our desktop and in this scenario we didn't use a full pass we use the relative pass because we are directly in that particular directory and by using this command we are interacting directly with that particular file which we wanted to interact with in these directories and usually if you want to check where is your full pass or where your file system starts like I mentioned in Windows if we open a file explorer here in the left navigation if we click into this PC our file system starts with Windows C because all files and all folders for this computer is in this C drive if we click into it then here if we click to the right from the address bar you will see C column and backslash if you would want to check where your pass starts you could also type in cd or change directory space and backslash and hit enter and you would get out to the very top folder of your file system and as you can see when we typed in cd or change directory backslash this moved us out to the c column backslash we can open again this folder go into c directory and we check what files are here and if we open now a command prompt and if we will type in command dir to list all folders and files where in that location where we are located and hit enter you will see exactly the same folders which are located here. Thank you. 